to save native Hawaiian birds on Maui is getting more backlash from the public. Court hearings, community meetings, even sign-waving events, all to stop the release of so-called incompatible mosquitoes. Our Chelsea Davis has both sides. A small but loud group of residents held signs outside St. Mary's Church in Hana last week. They're trying to raise awareness in their rural East Maui community. They're also holding weekly public meetings. They don't want the state releasing millions of mosquitoes in an effort to save native Hawaiian birds. I just want it to be really clear that we are all on the same team of wanting to save these birds and the reason that we're pursuing this is we're worried that this is going to have the opposite effect and we might lose these birds because of this project. Founder of Hawaii Unites, Tina Lea, filed a preliminary injunction and temporary restraining order against the Board of Land and Natural Resources and Department of Land and Natural Resources. The state's goal is to release incompatible male mosquitoes implanted with Wolbachia, a bacteria that makes the females unable to reproduce. The mosquito suppression technique is designed to stop the spread of avian malaria that's killing native Hawaiian birds. But critics are worried the state could mistakenly release some untreated mosquitoes, exacerbating the problem. This is why we're seeking the environmental impact statement so that we can learn more and say, you know, Maybe we have enough information now to feel, you know, one way or the other about it. In court, experts say the plan is safe. Let's say uh, a Hawaiian honey creeper ingested one of the lab infected mosquitoes. Oh, what would happen to that bird? It's gastric juices will digest that organism very quickly. So the mosquito itself, as well as the Wolbachia, would be digested and would just be reduced to proteins, enzymes fats, etc. The state hopes to eventually release mosquitoes statewide. Today is the last day for the public to comment on the Kauai environmental assessment. The next hearing is for August 15th. Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.